Getting started with SAS Enterprise Miner. Setting up an Enterprise Miner project. This is the first in a series of six Getting Started with SAS Enterprise Miner instructional videos. Together, the videos present a stepwise approach to a real world data mining problem using SAS Enterprise Miner 13.2 on SAS 9.4. In this exercise, you are a data analyst for a national charitable organization. You seek to use results of a prior mail solicitation for donations to better target the next solicitation effort. You want to find which individuals in your mailing database have traits similar to those of your most profitable donors. By soliciting only these people, your organization can spend less money on solicitation efforts and more money on charitable concerns. In this segment of the exercise, you will perform the following tasks. Create a new SAS Enterprise Miner project. Define a new SAS library for your sample data. Define a new SAS Enterprise Miner data source. Create a new SAS Enterprise Miner process flow diagram and place an input data source node on the process flow diagram. In order to recreate this example, you must have access to SAS Enterprise Miner 13.2, either as a client server application or as a standalone installation on your local machine. You can also use older versions of SAS Enterprise Miner to complete this exercise, but there may be small differences in statistical results due to improvements in the computing algorithms across releases. This exercise uses sample data that you must download from the Enterprise Miner documentation page on the SAS Customer Support website. You can place the sample data files on your SAS Enterprise Miner client or in a shared folder on your SAS Enterprise Miner server. To obtain the sample data for this exercise, navigate to http colon slash slash support.sas.com slash documentation slash online doc slash minor. The web page that you are looking for should resemble the following. Look for the item named Example Data for Getting Started with SAS Enterprise Miner 13.2. If you want to share the example data with other miners, unzip the file to a common directory on your SAS Enterprise Miner server. If you're performing the exercise alone, you can unzip the file to a network accessible folder on your SAS Enterprise Miner client. It's important to remember. Both the Enterprise Miner server and client must have read and write access to the data. The steps in this example are written as if you were completing all six segments of the Getting Started with SAS Enterprise Miner tutorial during one continuous SAS Enterprise Miner session. However, you can easily complete the sequential video exercises using separate SAS Enterprise Miner sessions. You can save and restart the tutorial at your convenience. As you progress through each video segment, you can resume prior SAS Enterprise Miner project work by clicking Open Project in the Welcome to Enterprise Miner window. In SAS Enterprise Miner, you store your work in projects. A project can contain one or more process flow diagrams, as well as the information that pertains to them. For organizational purposes, it is a good idea to create a separate project for each major data mining problem that you want to investigate. To create the project that you will use in this example, launch SAS Enterprise Miner to open the Welcome to Enterprise Miner window. Click New Project. The Create New Project wizard opens. Let's work together through the steps in the Create New Project wizard. Contact your system administrator if you need to be granted directory access or if you're unsure about the details of your site's SAS software configuration. Select the logical workspace server to use. 
Most users can select SAS app. If you are unable to use SAS app, ask your SAS administrator for help. Click Next. In Step 2, enter the project name. In this case, enter Getting Started Charitable Giving Example. Next, we'll specify the SAS server directory. The SAS server directory specifies the folder on the server where SAS datasets and other project generated files are stored. Your site is probably configured so that the default path is appropriate for this exercise. Click Next. The SAS folder location is the directory on the server machine in which the project itself will be stored. Your site is probably configured so that the default path is appropriate for the project that you are about to create. Click Next. Review the summary screen information, then click Finish. Good work! You just created an Enterprise Miner data mining project. In order to access the sample data sets using SAS Enterprise Miner, you must create a SAS library. When you create a library, you give SAS a shortcut name and a pointer to the location in the operating environment where you store your SAS files. To create a new SAS library for the sample data, do the following. On the SAS Enterprise Miner menu, select File, New Library. The Library Wizard opens. The Create New Library option button is automatically selected. Click Next. The Create or Modify window of the Library Wizard opens. Enter Donor as the library name. Now enter the path to the directory on the server or client machine where you installed the zip file contents. If the sample data is located on your server desktop, then your path might resemble C users username desktop, where username is your server user ID. If you save the sample data on your client, specify the full network path to the client folder to provide the Enterprise Miner server full access to the data. Click Next. The final step is to review and confirm your action settings. If all your entries are correct, click Finish. Congratulations! You just created a SAS library for your Enterprise Miner project data. Now we will create an Enterprise Miner data source using your new library. To use sample data that is stored in a SAS dataset in the SAS Enterprise Miner project, you need to define a SAS Enterprise Miner data source. In Enterprise Miner, a data source contains both the data and the metadata that defines and configures an input dataset. To create a new SAS Enterprise Miner data source from the sample data, from the main menu select File, New, Data Source. The SAS Enterprise Miner Data Source Wizard opens. SAS Table is automatically selected as the source. Click Next. Enter donor.donor raw data as shown as the two level table name. You can also click the Browse button to use a file utility to select the donor library and within the donor raw data dataset. Click Next. The data source wizard displays a summary of your new table's properties. Click Next. The Metadata Advisor Options window opens. We want to select the Advanced Metadata Advisor. Click Next. The Column Metadata Table Editor opens. You use the Column Metadata Table Editor to configure variable roles. We need a target variable and an ID variable. Most of the remaining variables will be input variables. To change an attribute, click on the value of that attribute and select a new value from the drop-down list that appears. Here, we will specify variable role assignments for the following variables. Cluster code, target B, target D, and control number. 
ensure the role for cluster code is set to rejected. Then set the role for control number to ID. Ensure that the role for target B is already set to target. Finally, ensure the role for target D is rejected. All the other variables should display the input role. After you specify the variable role assignments for your data set, click Next. The decision processing window opens. Do we want to build models that are based on decision values, such as expected revenue and cost? Yes. We want to maximize donations and minimize costs. We have cost and revenue information for the process. Select Yes, then click Next. The decision configuration window of the wizard opens. We need to enter event probabilities. Select the prior probabilities tab. The values in the prior column reflect the proportions of observations in the data set for which target B equals 1 and target B equals 0, which are 0.25 and 0.75, respectively. However, as the business analyst, you know that these proportions resulted from oversampling of donors during the prior solicitation. In fact, you know that the true proportion of donors for the solicitation was closer to 0.05 than 0.25. For this reason, you should adjust the prior probabilities to 0.05 and 0.95. On the Prior Probabilities tab, select Yes to indicate that you want to enter new prior probabilities. In the Adjusted Prior column of the table, enter the updated prior probabilities, 0.05 for Level 1 and 0.95 for Level 0. Now select the Decision Weights tab. Maximize is automatically selected in order to maximize profit in the analysis. What are the decision values for our model? Decision 1 is the decision to mail a solicitation to an individual. Decision 2 is the decision to not mail a solicitation. If you mail a solicitation and the individual does not respond, then your cost is 50 cents, the price of postage and handling. However, if the individual does respond, then based on the previous data, you expect to receive a $15 donation on average. Less the 50 cent postage and handling cost, your organization expects $14.50 in profit. If you do not mail a solicitation, you neither incur a cost nor expect a profit. Enter 14.5 as the average net gain for a positive response, level 1. Enter minus 0.5 as the average donation loss for no response at level 0. Enter 0.0, .0 for average net gain and 0.0, .0 for average net loss when individuals are not solicited at all. Click Next. The Create Sample window opens after you specify decision weights. Instead of creating a sample of our data, we will use the entire data set to build models. Leave the sample dataset query set to No and click Next. The Data Source Attributes window opens. We want the default attribute of RAW to describe the role of our donor RAW data dataset. Leave the default role selection unchanged and then click Next. The Data Source Wizard summary window opens. This window shows a summary of your data source metadata assignments. Your Enterprise Miner data source is now configured. Click Finish. It is now time to create a process flow diagram for the data mining exercise. From the main menu, select File, New, Diagram. The Create New Diagram window opens. Type donations in the box to name the new diagram. Select OK. 
SAS Enterprise Miner opens a diagram named Donations in the Project Navigator and creates a Donations Diagram workspace. We want to add the Donor Raw Data data source to the Donations Diagram. It will be the input data node for this exercise. Drag the Donor Raw Data data source from the Project Navigator tree to the Donations Diagram workspace. Good work. Let's summarize the task you've completed so far. You just created the following SAS Enterprise Miner entities. An Enterprise Miner project, a SAS library, an Enterprise Miner data source, an Enterprise Miner process flow diagram, and in addition, you use the Enterprise Miner data source to place an input data node on your new process flow diagram. This completes the first segment of the Getting Started with SAS Enterprise Miner video series. To continue the tutorial, see the next segment, Getting Started with SAS Enterprise Miner, Exploring Input Data and Replacing Missing Values. SAS Enterprise Miner automatically saves your project work when you close the software. Your project work will be saved and available the next time you open a SAS Enterprise Miner session.